Hey guys, it's KJ48, and we're here doing a special Let's Play for Seven Days to Die. This is Season 3, Episode 4, and we're here with Flat, <laughs> Fat Planet Gaming, or Fat Planet LP, as he likes to be called. Also known as Derek. And he's saving my ass. So what's up, bud? Totally saved your life, bro. That's good, man. I knew I brought you here for a reason. That's an evil dog. <laughs> the dead one. But it was evil. What's going on, Cage 848 subscribers? Fat Planet LP joining for the LP this evening. Hope you don't mind. Hope I'm not intruding. What's going on, Fat Planet LP subs? Derek here. We are joined with Cage 848, like he so kindly described himself. And uh, we decided we're just going to uh, we're going to do a little joint little not series, but we're going to kind of star in each other's episodes. And uh, if you guys like that. We'll uh, continue to do that uh, as often as possible. If you don't like it, then uh, I'll just go cry in a corner and continue my LPs on my own channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, I think the word you're looking for is collaboration. Um, collaboration. We, yeah. I, actually, now that I think about it, have we done a collaboration video together? We have. Well, on my end of the channel, we've done some Rust collaboration. Yeah, that's right, Rust. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I know I did a shout-out video for you, but I don't think I've actually had you in a, on my channel yet. No, you have not. No, I have not. Which is okay. That's fine. You know, you're in no, like... No, no, it's not, you're, you're, it's you're not fine. You're my videos. That's all right. It's not fine. You know, I've been, I've been meaning to do it. I, I did some uh, horde more with my buddy Serganan, and uh, now it's time to get Fat Planet on here. Oh, we got an acid spitter. Nice. And down he goes. Okay, so to get down to business, uh, this is going to be a special long episode. Uh, I don't think you guys are going to mind. Um, I'm sure people on Fat Planet's uh, channel aren't going to mind. And uh, I've set my timer for 30 minutes, but we're probably going to go longer than that because i got a lot of stuff I want to get done here. Uh, we are on my world, and uh, I want to actually get on Derek. Do you, what do you like to be called, Derek? Fat Planet, yep. what? Derek. We, go, right. we go by my real name on the channel, so... Okay. Well, um, I would like to actually get on Derek's uh, Let's Play series, but he doesn't. He can't do it without Chris, and we need to get a hold of Chris. So you know that'll be a little tricky, but we'll get it. We'll all get together at some point. It's all good. These things are so annoying. I hate these climbers. They are loud. They're big ah, mouths. They sound like my grandmother. Have you raided this uh, White House yet? I'm raid, raid out. everything. The only raid whatever you want. I haven't raided anything. Uh, Hold on one sec. Okay. I actually have a, a mute on my mic, which is really nice when I need to sneeze or cough or anything. You know, just take care of that. Little little inside thing I usually don't talk about during my videos, but uh, since I got Derek here, I give him a little, I don't know, a little behind the scenes. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. That sounds good. That's it. My, sub, my subs know if I need to take a smoke from my, uh, my vaporizer, if I need to sneeze, cough, burp, you know, I just do it. Although I tend not to burp, though. That's kind of rude. That's it's nasty. a it's a little tricky doing a collaboration video with someone for the... Fr well, I knew we did Rust, but uh, this is like... This is not the norm for us, so it's actually weird trying to give the other person time to talk, you know, and not monopolize the conversation, but also trying not to have any dead air. So... Yeah, nobody wants to be rude and, like, jump in and take over the commentary. Right? That would just be odd. Yep, yep. So, um... For those of you who uh, are watching my series, uh, this is going to be going up on both our channels, actually. The same video going on both our channels, but uh, technically, for me anyway, this is part of my uh, Season 3 Let's Play series. And for those of you who are watching that, um, for the, uh, you know I came to Dyersville and I built a little outpost there. And now we are going to go a little third person uh, because I'm the chick for some reason. I should probably change that. But we're going to go throughout Dyersville, and we are just going to loot the crap out of this place. I'm going to spend the whole day looting the place. Uh, then we're going to go on my outpost and hang out there for a little while. And when we're done there, we are going to go all the way down to the south and build another outpost down here for sand and other looting opportunities. How does that sound to you, Derek? That sounds great. You know what I don't understand, though? Yes. What the hell is an egg used for? I don't know. I'm assuming, like... You want to make some kind of, like, maybe food with it at some point? I mean, honestly, an egg is one of the easiest things in nature to eat. I mean, you, you put it on top of a fire, you could even cook it in its own shell, and then you just eat it, you know? I don't know what the problem is, but I guess they haven't gotten that far into the game yet. I have... I'm going to go raid a house. I've got to get bullets. I'm out. 
Oh, what do you need? What kind of bolts? Shotgun. Okay, here you go. Where are you? I'm coming. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna here, take this. Aw, thank you, ma'am. I'm actually loaded on shotgun bullets. Now, part of the fun thing about this game, though, is you have to watch out for degradation on your weapons, because as you're, you can see right at the bottom left-hand side of my screen, the damage percentage on my weapon is 85%. As your weapon takes damage, it's going to do less and less damage to the enemies. Now, maybe you could explain this to me, Derek. Uh, is the pickaxe this, in the same situation? Are tools the same thing? Yes. Tools, uh, weapons, everything has a condition and damage rating. And especially with the pickaxe, if you get down like into 70%, things that would normally take you three hits to, say, some stone is going to take you about five. It's, that hurts. It's kind of annoying. That it, hurts. It annoying. I don't know if I agree with that at all, really. But it, I really don't agree with it with the tools. That's well, kind exactly. of a pain. I mean, if you think about it, in real life, I mean, yes, a pickaxe is going to get kind of old, dilapidated, splintered, but it's not going to hinder the ability of it cutting through rocks. I mean, it's just not. It's either going to snap and break at the handle, or that's it. I've never had a pickaxe that, like, degraded in its cut quality over time. It just it never happened. Well, the thing the thing about... Oh, hold on. I got a world not loaded over here. I got a big pit. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. I wonder if I should walk over it. I did, and it's still not loaded. I'm going to stay out of there for now. Um, we're doing this on, uh, you know, multiplayer, obviously. I, I brought, I basically just brought him into my game, but, you know, they don't have the kinks worked out yet, obviously. So, and I got a chainsaw. Mm-mm-mm. Can of dog food. So, anyway, um, part of the problem with the pickaxe, though, is, you know, what are you going to do? You know, like, right now, my pickaxe is 74%. Really? If you look on my screen, it looks about 50%. Okay, so it's not a straight one for one. My pickaxe condition is 146 out of 300, which is less than 50%, but the damage is still 74%. That is interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's get back to the house, actually, because I actually need to make some ladders, because we have no way to get inside. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's, um, uh, that's not yeah, good. Yeah, that's, that's not good. We got an the, hour long here. And the world over here isn't loading again. That's that's even worse. All right, that's really bad. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to actually pause the video or something because this is, like, the world's not loaded. Like, I can't do anything over here. Maybe oh. if I run over here long enough, will it load? Nope. All right, well, that's rough. Anyway, let's just get inside. First things first. All right. Make a bunch of sticks. You see where I am on the map? Can you get to me? Okay. Yeah, I'm right behind you. I'm going to cut this tree down real quick while I'm waiting on you. All right. What I'll do is while we're while we're upstairs, I guess I'll have to restart the game because, like, I can't have it. Oh, it's starting to load. Maybe because you're walking over here. I could, I don't know. Me and Chris have been on like different ends of the map before, and it's loaded. No, what I'm saying is maybe it started loading because you walked over there. I don't know. Oh, possibly. I don't know what the deal is. All right, I'll guard you while you get some ladders up. All right, you're good. Come on up. All right. Now this is this let's this uh video is gonna be a lot less organized, I guess, than all my other ones. It's just gonna be kind of like um, you know. Cage. Yeah. Well, you can't get up here. Well, no, I can, but oh god, whoa, 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 I have to block this up. Well, on ladders, you you always want to leave that bottom rung of the ladder un uh, attached to the wall. Otherwise, they're gonna climb right up. Well, I was it. just gonna block it up anyway. Okay. We'll see. It's going to be a learning process. Uh, I'd like to block it up. If not, then I'll just break it off, like you say. Uh, where's my boarded windows? Do I have any boarded windows? I should. All right, there's my other ladders. Okay, give me a second. Let me look from... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I got 195 boarded windows on my hot bar, and I didn't even see them. But that's what, ahead of you. that's what happens when you're... Uh, when you're confused, trying to do stuff. Now, there's nothing in here to loot. There's absolutely nothing in here to do. The only thing we could do is, if you wanted to, we could do some mining. But I'm not even sure how interesting that is. This is the part of the video that I would definitely pause. Because <laughs> I don't know what to do Like when we're in here like this. Um, well, I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to organize some of my inventory. Oh, I'm boarding these windows up. Knock yourself out. Just let me know if you have any problems. Sounds like it's nah. going crazy down there. Eh. 
I'm a warrior. That's a good point. I forgot about that. That's right. Don't you forget. Um, is it just me, or do, you, do we never have enough water anymore in this game? You, you never have enough water. <laughs> I mean, they went from, like, having too much water to now, like... I'm not going to say it's not enough, but it's pretty rough. All right, I'm going to make some... Yucca fibers? Let me see if I have any here. Not yucca fibers. I keep wanting to call them yucca fibers. They're not yucca fibers anymore. They're plant fibers. I might have some in here somewhere. I thought I did. Um, I guess not. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I do have some of the grass. I guess I just never turned them in, into uh, plant fibers. And I think you take the plant fibers and the jars? No? All right, I'm going to have to look up the recipe, I guess. Uh, I, I need to be able to make aloe cream. I thought it was the plant... I thought it was plant fibers in jars. All right, I guess that is going to be... Oh, wait a minute. No, it's just plant fibers. Hmm. Um, why in the world does it sound like there is a zombie outside banging on a cowbell? <laughs> I don't like, know, man. Do we have do we have musical zombies or something? Is there like a marching band, a zombified marching band somewhere? I mean, I could dig that. This is deserting a little bit. Uh, now I don't use the hunting rifles a lot, so I'm just gonna repair those. Totally. I was watching Paul Source Jr.'s vi uh, video today. And um, I got that damn song stuck in my head that he uses now. Uh, the one in the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know which one you're talking about. I think he actually got permission to use that, too, because that's like a real song. Yeah, they made it for him. They, oh, they made it for him? Yeah, they actually made that song for him. Oh, that's awesome. That is cool. All right, I got the pump shotgun. I'm going to hold on to those. Everything going okay down there? Yep, I'm just strengthening your uh, little foundations up here, covering the holes, and you got some almost breakthroughs. I'm patching up. All right, I'm coming down. Just about done here. All right, I don't need all those boarded windows, so I'll put some up there. First floor here. Alright, it's looking pretty good. The thing I like to do is if I see the the wall cracking like you just did right there, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You just put up the boarded windows. Well, I, I learned that from you, Cage. Yeah. I learned it by watching you! <laughs> <laughs> You're my inspiration. Actually, I was thinking more about the, the kid who ends up smoking, and the dad catches him, and he's like, What are you doing? Where'd you learn this? He goes, You, Dad! I learned it by watching you! Because, of course, the dad <laughs> smokes, you know. Uh, you, you don't have any feasible reason to have a very large cardboard box just sitting up here, do, do you? Sitting up where? Or, or can I just punch it to death and get rid of it? No, no, if it's in the attic, then yeah, it's full of stuff. No, 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 no. As, as long as there's nothing in it, yeah, go ahead. That's my magic cardboard box, man. It keeps us safe. That's how you do so good. I think this is a wood, yes. So for any of my subscribers uh, watching this video, which you're probably going to, because it's my video on my channel, and, you know, Cage has his own going up, but uh, please feel free. Please go and, you know, check out Cage's channel and, you know, go to his 7 Days to Die videos. You know, I mean, if you're caught up with mine, you, you're, you got your seven dies today itch that you need to get filled, you know, please head over to his channel, check him out. He's very entertaining. We're smarter than him, but, you know, I just give him some credit. He tries. <laughs> I try hard, man. He does. I'm a little try hard. And, uh, you know, same goes for, same goes for my uh, viewers. I did a shout out video for uh, Derek and Fat Planet LP, and you know, if in case you missed that, not a ton of people watched it. Uh, you need to go check out his channel. He does Seven Days to Die. Uh, he's thinking about doing uh, Vanilla Minecraft coming up soon, possibly. Maybe a maybe we'll be doing a collaboration on that if we can work it out. Uh, what else do you do on your channel? 
Uh, we do Rust. Um, let's see here. We have a whole bunch of Terraria. If you guys like Terraria, we have a whole bunch of Terraria Let's Plays on the channel. We got a lot of new content that's going to be coming soon. Uh, besides the vanilla Minecraft, the 1.7.2 version, maybe even a snapshot. We'll test that out and see how that works out. Um, the biggest thing that's going to happen on the channel is there's a new game in development that's going to be released sometime this year for an early alpha test, and it's called The Forest. And you can reach that by going to survivetheforest.com. They've got a couple trailers up there. Check it out. See if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, I'm trying to... Well, not trying. I think he's going to, but uh, I believe Cage and I are both going to do a, uh, a gameplay video of this very you know, prestigious game that's supposed to be coming out. It's very awesome looking. If you guys like Rust, if you like Seven Days to Die, you're going to love this game. Go check it out. Survivetheforest.com. You are not going to be disappointed. Uh, I'm very, very, very excited to be able to do a Let's Play on this game. Developers actually emailed me back. They are going to send me a key uh, for review for the game to do specifically a Let's Play. So it's it's going to be exciting. It looks like a really cool game. It looks, um, It's a little bit more single player. Uh, as of right now, I don't think there's any massive multiplayer. Uh, I think they were talking about maybe doing co-op stuff. But it's more of like a spooky, intense, like... There's a lot of action in it, actually, right? It looked like there was a lot of action. It It's not your typical, like, zombie-type game. They got rid of the zombies. Instead, you're in this huge, huge, beautifully generated forest. Um, it, it's got the same elements as Rust. You can actually set down um, building materials and foundations. You can build a fort. Um, you can live in a cave if you want to. It's... Um, you can explore underground caves and caverns and underground lakes and uh, I mean it's just it's beautiful the the enemies in the game are not zombies they're not aliens they're actually tribes people I think I'm saying that right You're right yeah it tribes looks it, lo it looks tribes, really tribes. yeah the tribesmen yeah it looks crazy oh. You, you just you have to go check out the trailer they, yeah they have, have two, they have two trailers make sure you watch them both they, they look they look really interesting it looks more like, um, it looks, like, let's face it, like, uh, you know, Rust isn't even a survival horror game. Rust is an open world PvP, you know, just to have fun with your friends type thing. And Seven Days to Die, you know, has more survival horror aspects, but it's, you know, it's more of a, of a building, uh, you know, creative type game. This game looks like a spooky-ass survival horror game. It looks spooky. Like, I mean, doesn't it? I mean, it looks intense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm super excited for this thing. Are they talking about... Uh, uh, now, it's going to be going into early alpha access this year, it says, right? Yeah, it's going to be an alpha release sometime at the end of this year. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be soon. I'm added on their, uh, their media um, email list, so I'll know exactly when it's going to go out. I'll know exactly when the preview copies are going to be sent out to us. And we'll update you guys... Um, the, the, any information we get on it, you will be updated immediately, I promise. Yes, it looks very intense. Uh, do you know anything about pricing for it? No. Okay. No, no estimated prices or nothing right now. And a lot of people uh, tell me that set $35 for 7 Days to Die in Alpha was too rich for their blood. So I, I'm kind of hoping it's more around the $20 price range, hopefully. Uh, in its current state... I can agree and disagree at the same time for the $35 mark. I'm definitely getting $35 worth of enjoyment out of Seven Days to Die in its current state. But the thing you got to remember is if you read everything that developers are promising to include in this game, $35 is going to be a steal when this thing is released. And I guarantee you it's not going to be $35 when it's released. So if you're thinking that you might want to get this game, if you're waiting, well, let's see what's going to happen to it. Is it going to get any better? You know, kind of make a wise decision. If you think it's going to be something you want, you might want to pick it up for the 35 It depends on who you are. If you're a 15-year-old kid with uh, limited income and you have to, like, Correct. you know, do your paper route or maybe shovel, you know, shovel driveways for money, then, yeah, $35 might be a bit a bit much to swallow. But for someone our age, I mean, we're in our, he's in his early 30s. I'm in my, you know, mid-30s. And, uh, you know, we have disposable income. A game like this is perfect for us. Now, I've gotten my money's worth by far. I mean, personally. 
how we doing up here? This looks pretty solid. I'm going to keep mining until uh, 8 o'clock, and then we'll go out and loot some more. I need to find my auger. If okay. I find my auger early enough, we could just make a beeline for the south. We might have to stay here another night, though. I don't know. I've been, I've been making my videos in a much more... I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Rapid, not rapid pace, but I would I would cut stuff like this out normally. But uh, for you guys watching this video, who maybe is like Cage, you know, why are you showing all the mining? Why are you staying through the night? Um, it's because I got someone else to do the video with me, and you know, it just makes sense. Like we should have plenty to talk about to fill up the uh, the time. So you know, it might not be as action packed of a video, but it's going to be more you know us talking and you know getting you to meet Derek and stuff and and go check out his. His stuff at Fat, Fat Planet LP because uh, you know he does really good stuff with uh, his buddy Chris. So, it's definitely worth checking out. I watch I watch every one of his Seven Days to Die videos. I really like them. Putting some water in your fridge, homie. Good. You got guests over and you got no food, no water. What kind of host are you? It's BYOW. I guess it is. Um, I'm gonna exit this house in a brave manner. I'm going to keep my uh, boarded windows on my hot bar, so as soon as I make a hole, I'm going to patch it back up. Okay. Because I, I really have no way to get out your door, because I have no tools Why do you want to go out? It's still it's still nighttime. Uh, technically, at 6 o'clock, it is considered day. Do they slow down at that time? They do. Oh, okay, well, hold up. Unless I'll, I'll they've come with you. changed it. Unless they've changed it. But... It's seven o'clock now, anyway, so it's all right. All right, I'm coming with you. Let me uh, right. let's let's dump off any unneeded stuff though, so we have full inventory for me go out. I don't know if you've done that yet, but I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't have enough to even worry about. I have well, come up here and take anything if you need it. You know, I have some interesting news that I don't even think I've shared with anybody. I don't even think you know about this, Derek. Uh, I keep forgetting to to talk to people about this, but. Hmm. Some people might be uh, aggravated about it. I'm not really sure, but if you are aggravated about it, do not worry. Seven Days to Die will continue flowing, and it will flow continuously, and I don't see myself stopping this game anytime soon. And for those of you that say, Cage, that's BS, man. You're going to get bored of it eventually. Go look at my uh, go look at my Minecraft videos. I'm still making them. I've got more Minecraft videos than you can count. So when I say I'm going to make a video series for a long time, I mean it. So this new series, I got accepted into a beta. I believe I can show videos of it. I, I don't know if it's a closed beta or an empty beta, but I'm going to take a look at it and do my research so I don't piss anyone off. But I've gotten accepted to the uh, Hearthstone beta, the card game by uh, Blizzard. Interesting. Yes. So I am going to I am going to be looking into that. I'm not a big card game fan per se, but I did play I did play Scrolls, which was Mojang's card game. And I kind of enjoyed it, and I applied for the beta a few weeks ago. And uh, do you have a way out, by the way? No. Okay. I, I applied. Just falling down the stairs. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump out the window up top. I applied oh, for the beta a few weeks ago, and they uh, actually got back to me. And I've seen a lot of people do let's plays on it. I do not think it's under any kind of uh, NDA, so I'm pretty sure, you know, you might see some Hearthstone stuff. Um, I'm expecting a lot of hate though, because people tend to hate Blizzard stuff. You're either a Blizzard fanboy or you're a Blizzard hater usually. But, you know, for those of you that hate it, do not sweat it. Uh, it's going to be more seven days to die than you can stand, so don't worry about that. I have so many things I want to do in this game, it's not even funny. Alright. I probably should have brought some water, huh? You said there's water That's in the fridge or something? Some kind of fridge, I, I fridge water? I would really love to know how your ponytail sticks straight out like it does. I, I want to know what you use. Pro tip, bro. Pro tip. Is, is it like some sort of special moose gel or something? Because you got a pippy long stockings look going on right now. And it, it is hot. Oh, jeez. They tore up this ladder. Alright, this game is still messed up for me. But we're not going that way, so I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, hey, you need to find me in... Oh, this is, this is bad. You know what? I'm, I might have to pause the game because... Wow. Because this isn't like... None of this is rendered out here for me. Really? That's weird. Renders for me. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to I'm gonna have to restart. I don't have much of a choice. Everything's fine on my end. Yeah. 
It's uh, it's on both sides. I can't even like go move around. So we're gonna, gonna restart the server. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pause the video here, guys, and restart the server. So uh, it'll be instantaneous for you. So see you when we get back. Hey guys, I was having a lot of problems with the game not loading and stuff, as you could tell during this video. And at the end here, I tried to restart the world, but the fact of the matter is, whenever Derek comes into my world for some reason, uh, I get that weird world not loading bug. Reminds me a lot of Minecraft. But um, Derek did record this on his end, so if you want to go check out his go check out his uh, channel at um, Fat Planet LP. You could see his version of this video and uh, subscribe to him. He does really good stuff, and you should definitely go check him out. And on a little side note, uh, this world is not messed up. The world is fine. The Let's Play is fine. Uh, I restarted it again after he was gone, and the world loaded just fine. So it's just when he was in the world. So fear not, this Let's Play is still in good shape. So that's going to be it for Episode 4, and I'll see you next time for Episode 5. Till then, take it easy.